today's inauguration signals a big change for our state. Our Craig Cannon tells us Republicans now control the governor's office and both state houses. Craig? That's right, Paige. We asked our political analyst, Dr. Karen Siebold, if he'll be able to unify the state now. Arkansas voters decided in this last election to give the reins of state government to the generally more conservative Republican Party, including the highest position in the, the state. States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the so can Governor Asa Hutchinson now represent all Arkansans as we go forward? I think you could see that sentiment in his inaugural speech, where he's trying to reach out to all groups of people, not just his voters. He's doing that through tax cuts to the middle class, as well as, you know, job training, skills training. Dr. C. Says Hutchinson also made a point of mentioning better services for low income Arkansans. Governor Hutchinson has an advantage to get things done. He's lucky that he does, of course, have a Republican Congress to help him, so that should make the process more to, easier, but he still does have to be conscious of he has a budget to work with. Because of that, Governor Hutchinson should be able to speed along legislation. But Dr. Siebold says his tax cut pledge will be tricky. It intends to achieve around 100 million in tax cuts for the middle class. That's not going to be the easiest thing for him to do, given that those cuts will come at the expense of some of those social services and safety nets that he's talking about. And Dr. Siebel said that she's encouraged the governor's making recruiting big businesses to Arkansas a high priority and keeping the best of the best of our students right here in the state.